Hey y'all, I'm Mandy and this is Mandy in the Making. Welcome back to another What's for Dinner. I've got three really excellent meals for y'all this week. We're really excited about it. Before we jump into our first meal, I just wanted to say thank you so much for coming back and watching another What's for Dinner. And if this is your first time here, I do content like this all of the time. Most of the content on my channel is about food, making yummy food at home. If that's something you're interested in, if you feel like you're in a rut and you're always making the same things over and over again, then this is the place for you. It's really why I started doing food content was because we were in a rut and we were looking for new recipes to try. So come here each week, watch us try new recipes, let you know what we think, and then you can choose some to add into your rotation. Okay, the first meal this week I'm really excited about. It is chipotle shrimp burrito bowls, and we're going to be making our own cilantro lime dressing. You could definitely just buy that pre-made, but I'm excited to give it a try. So let me flip you around, show you everything I need for the dressing, because we're gonna get that made up first and in the fridge before we get started on the shrimp burrito bowls. So I have my blender here. This blender has been with us for a very long time. It is well loved and well used. I've got some mayonnaise, sour cream. We are choosing to add in the smoked paprika that says it's optional on the recipe. Some cilantro, some ranch powder, some lime juice, garlic, tomatillos, and jalapeno. Okay, so I've just got our three tomatillos. The recipe calls for two, but these were so incredibly small. We're gonna do three. It just says to roughly chop these. I already removed the husks and washed them. So I'm just gonna kind of roughly chop these. They're all going in the blender, so you really don't have to spend too much time here. And then for our jalapeno, I'm just going to roughly chop it as well, but I am going to remove the seeds. Okay, now we're just gonna assemble the dressing. I'm gonna add in a third a cup of cilantro, our tomatillos and our jalapeno. I've got two cloves of garlic here that I've already peeled. One cup of mayonnaise. One cup of sour cream. about a teaspoon and a half of lime juice and a couple of tablespoons of ranch powder. Now optional is to add in about a fourth a teaspoon of smoked paprika and y'all know we're gonna add it in. Okay, so we're just gonna blend this together and we're gonna add milk a tablespoon at a time until we get to the consistency that we want. Okay, so that's still pretty thick. So I'm gonna add a little bit of milk in. It's so pretty, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, that seems much better. Okay, I don't think we need any more milk. I'm just gonna pour this into a container and put it in the fridge. I've got this container here that is meant for salad dressing. I really love it. I've got it linked in my Amazon store below if you're interested. Close this and let's put it in the fridge. I want to thank Ritual for sponsoring this portion of the video. Even with the perfect diet, it can be really hard to get the key ingredients that you need on a daily basis. Ritual can help you fill in the gaps in your diet. They are an obsessively researched multivitamin that contains nine high quality nutrients from D3 to omega-3, and those can be really hard to get enough of each day, even with a super healthy diet. You just take two of their easy to take capsules, either morning or night, I've been taking them for a couple of weeks, and I have to tell you the very first thing I noticed was how minty fresh it smells. It has a mint tab in the bottle to keep them very fresh smelling, and I really appreciate that. They are vegan-friendly, sugar-free, non-GMO, gluten-free, and allergen-free. They have multivitamins for men and women. They also have them for teens. 
they have prenatal vitamins, and then they have vitamins for ages 50 plus. It's only a dollar a day to have nine high quality nutrients your body needs delivered straight to your door every single month. No strings attached. Better health doesn't happen overnight, and right now Ritual is offering you 10% off your first three months. So if you'll use the link in my description box and then use the code MANDY10, you will get 10% off your first three months. Thanks again to Ritual for sponsoring today's video and let's get back to cooking. So we're gonna go ahead and start cooking our rice. I'm doing a cup and a half of rice, so I've got three cups of water here. I'm gonna turn this on to high and get that water boiling. Now I'm gonna start assembling our marinade. I need one to two of these chipotle peppers. I need to cut them up. I was scared it was gonna stain our nice cutting board, so I brought out this little cutting board. I don't care if this one gets stained. So I'm gonna chop that up really fine. I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil in here. Our chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. I'm gonna add just a little bit of the sauce as well. If you've ever used a recipe that only needs one to two of these and you've got this really big can, you can always put this in a freezer safe Ziploc baggie and they freeze just fine and then you can just thaw it under some water, some cold water, and you can use it again later. I'm adding about three tablespoons of lime juice, about two garlic cloves. We need just about two tablespoons, just kidding, two teaspoons of honey. And I've got three fourths a teaspoon of ground cumin, a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, and one fourth a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I'm just gonna stir all of this together and then we're gonna add our shrimp in. Oh man, that smells good. Can you smell it, baby? Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got a bag of, these are the extra large uh, shrimp. These were frozen. I thawed them in some cold water. <gasps> frozen, can you believe oh gosh, it? The gall. You scared me to death, go on. <laughs> I'm gonna add these in to our marinade. Get them all coated. And then we're gonna let these marinate here on the counter. I'm gonna put the lid on this for like 15 minutes while we cut up all the other stuff that will go in the burrito bowls. A better way to coat them is to shake them. Make sure my lid's on good. It's about to get serious. So we're gonna add black beans to our burrito bowls. So we need to drain and rinse them and then we're just gonna put them in a small pot on the stove just to warm them through. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water to this so they don't just sit there and burn. We're also gonna add some corn to our burrito bowls. I have some frozen corn here. It's been sitting out on the counter for probably 15, 20 minutes and it's starting to thaw, but I'm gonna stick it in the microwave really quickly just to thaw the rest of the way. Okay, I'm gonna chop up just a little more cilantro for me and Steven. If you've been here for a while, you know Cole is not the biggest fan of cilantro, so he'll probably just use regular ranch dressing on his burrito bowl. I'll let him try the cilantro lime, but I don't think he's gonna like it. Okay, our rice is done, so it is time to cook up our shrimp. Y'all know it only takes just a couple of minutes. I'm gonna add some olive oil to our pan that is already hot. We heated it on medium high.
Oh boy, this looks good. I was gonna say, don't forget those tails. Yeah. That'd be a nice surprise, wouldn't it? Uh huh. Man, this looks really good. Wow. Dressing is phenomenal. That shrimp is amazing. That chipotle pepper flavor, really nice touch. Yeah. Is it wow. super spicy? No, it's not super spicy at all. Okay. Um, it's just a little bit of spice, tremendous flavor. So I've just been chowing down and forgot to come back on here and tell y'all what I think. This is phenomenal. I could drink the dressing, so good. And those shrimp, y'all, those shrimp though. Just make sure you drain the shrimp really well before you put them in the hot pan. But other than that, this is a huge hit. So we're gonna change things up just a little bit this week just because of time constraints. Instead of three dinners, I'm gonna give you two dinners this week. So tonight is Subby Supper and I'm gonna share a very easy and quick dessert with you. So let's get to Subby Supper first. Tonight's Subby Supper comes from Laura. Laura said she's new to my channel, but this is a recent favorite of hers. She said she found it from one of those cookbooks, the Gooseberry Patch, I think is what they're called. I'm sure you've heard of them. They're kind of an old school type thing. But this is a turkey shepherd's pie, and I'm gonna give you the ingredients and the directions below, but she gave me some alternatives, some things that she did, so we're gonna kinda make the same changes that she did. She added peas and carrots from a can. We're gonna do that as well. She also used a brown gravy packet, and she subbed out the cheese for shredded cheese instead of slices. One other thing she mentioned to make it even easier is she just heated up a thing of Bob Evans mashed potatoes instead of making her own mashed potatoes. We're gonna do our own today, but if you're in a time crunch, that's a really great idea. So we're gonna do all of that now. Thank you, Laura, for sending this in. Now we're just gonna get started on our brown gravy mix. You just need a cup of cold water. I'm gonna turn on our back burner to high. Add in our brown gravy and add in our water and whisk it all together. The trick to making sure that this doesn't come out lumpy is to stir it constantly while it's coming up to temperature. Does anybody else get excited when you use a measuring cup for water? Because you get to do this. Wait, wait, wait. Wait for it. Boom. Okay, now that this is starting to boil, I'm going to turn it down and we're going to let it simmer for just a minute or so. And then that portion will be done. It's nice and thick already. I'm going to turn it all the way to low and just let this hang out. Okay, now we're gonna cook up our turkey. I'm gonna turn this to medium high. So the recipe calls for a pound of ground turkey. This is a pound and a quarter. And in my experience, turkey can be pretty bland. So we're gonna season this up a little bit. Okay, let's do some seasoning. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm also going to add some of this seasoning blend called Anti No Nos. I'm going to go ahead and dump our onion in here. Our potatoes are done. I'm going to drain these. I'm 
Stephen is going to take over the mashed potato making. We just add some butter. I'm just going to mash that up and get the butter to melt. And then we'll be adding in heavy whipping cream and salt and pepper. And that's pretty much it. We're just going to keep it basic today. He is done. We've already turned it off. Now I'm going to add in my peas and carrots. This is just a small, I think it was an eight ounce container and I just drained it. You don't want to add this in too early because you're going to mush up your carrots or your uh, carrots and your peas. I'm just going to mix that together and warm it through. And then we're going to assemble our shepherd's pie. So I've got an eight by eight dish. I'm going to spray it with some Pam. The first layer is our meat. So I'm just going to put this in the bottom. Okay, over top of this, I'm going to pour our brown gravy. Now we're going to top it with our cheese. And lastly, our mashed potatoes. Now this is gonna go in a 350 degree oven for 20 minutes. I can't even explain how amazing this is. <laughs> this is good. Oh, wow. Yes. First of all, that does not taste like turkey. And I'm assuming that's a good thing. Mm. There's turkey in this? It's ground turkey. I didn't that know. gravy? Yeah. It's really... It's, it's got the, the creaminess because of the potatoes and the gravy. And it's just loaded with the flavor. I mean, you can taste the flavor of the, the gravy and the seasonings that you put in the meat. That good garlicky flavor. And then that, that gravy, oh man, that is good. It looks delicious. Mm. Wow. I mean, this is so simple loaded with flavor so this one's a keeper keeper we yeah. need to have this again soon for sure <laughs> laura i understand why now in your email to me you said you wanted to make this again very soon that is phenomenal the flavors just all mix well together oh my word so good Okay, so for our dessert tonight, it is gonna be a really easy one, but I'm so excited about it. They are called Caramel Apple Pie Bombs. I, of course, have the recipe linked below, but check out this girl's website, her blog. She has several versions of this. She has a pumpkin pie version. I think she has a snickerdoodle version, maybe. So if caramel apple pie is not your thing, she's got other ways to make these as well. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is make our cinnamon sugar. You're gonna need that to roll your bombs in. So I've got just regular sugar here. I've got some ground cinnamon. I'm just gonna mix these together. Okay, as far as the caramel goes, I just got a bag of these craft caramels and you just unwrap them, you just need eight. And then I have apple pie filling here. We're not gonna use this entire thing, but I am gonna chop it up a little bit. I'm gonna use my mix and chop. Try not to make a huge mess. Maybe I needed a bigger bowl. What you think, babe? Mm, yeah, slightly <laughs> bigger. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Look at this hot mess. Okay, I'm gonna open up our can of crescent rolls. I have our oven preheating to 350. 
So each triangle is gonna get a little bit of the apple pie filling, it's gonna get a caramel, and it's also gonna get rolled into the cinnamon sugar. So you don't wanna fill them up too much. So that's probably plenty. And then I'm gonna put a caramel on top. That's gonna melt down. And now we just need to seal it as much as we can. And then I'm gonna roll it in my hand to form more of a ball. Okay. Trying to make sure it's still intact. Now let's put it in our cinnamon sugar. So I learned my lesson with the apples. We're gonna go bigger. <laughs> All right, one down, seven to go. Steven said he wanted to do one. You're gonna help me now. So I just put that caramel in there somewhere. Yep. And then I need to ball this thing up. Somewhere. There you go. Start rolling it. Oh, you made this look easy. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> now this is going in the oven at 350 for 12 to 15 minutes until they're golden brown. Is it hot? It's hot. Yeah, that's cinnamon sugar flavor with the apple. You get a little bit of the caramel, maybe just a hint of the caramel, but what you get a lot of is the the uh, cinnamon sugar on top. Yeah. A little bit of the crunch. Yeah. Because of that, and then. That apple pill pie filling is really good. You get a little bit of the caramel, but not too much. Okay, so it's not overpowering. Good stuff. Mm hmm That's perfect. It is good. It's the perfect serving amount. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like that a lot. It is good. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this What's for Dinner and the dessert. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, click that little subscribe button down below and join my YouTube family. That way you won't miss any more of my content. Also, don't forget to check the description box for the Ritual website. I've got that linked below and I've got my code below for you too. Thanks y'all. I'll see you next time. Bye. So, I mean, for picture purposes, it'll be prettier with the tails on probably, right? I mean, yeah, but. What you wanna do? I don't really care. Are you filming this whole thing? Why not? It's a burrito bowl, right? Shake, shake, shake. Shake your screen. This is about to be a disaster, baby. Oh, man, overboard. Look Stop at, it up. Look at this professional. You gotta mop this up. <laughs> These are a lot of little potatoes over here. <laughs> look at that. Right, I'm gonna get him a little more. <laughs> oh, are, mm. you, are you recording? Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 Stop! And action! Gosh, you're scared. <laughs> Did you see me jump? Five, four, three, two.